Hey guys, Mr. Natural here. Uh, I'm here on a, on a cutout that's been here for several years. This is a kind of an unfortunate one. Uh, I'll show you why. This is my buddy. I'd like to give my buddy Glenn Carr credit for this one. He lives right there across the street and uh, he turned me on to this one. This is also the one that the uh, news people came to look at. Um, so yeah, I took part of the soffit down. It's a beautiful hive as usual. But the problem is it runs the opposite direction that they usually do. The joists. Uh, instead of the soffit having a, uh, a bar draft on the outside, it's different. It's got joists going in, so this goes way deep into the house. And unfortunately, I won't be able to get them. Uh, won't be able to get them all today. I got about probably 10,000 of them in the box so far, in the vacuum box. But the cool thing is this house is scheduled for uh, for demolition in about a month and a half, I think, he said. So what I'll do is uh, I'll make plans with the demo crew, and as soon as these guys move out, I'll get permission from the uh, from the, the, real, the real estate company and the demo crew to uh, get in, get inside the house and tear the ceilings out and, uh, and get these guys out and relocate them so, uh, you know, they don't get... Uh, number one, they don't get crushed when they tear the house down. Number two, uh, if these guys come with a, a front-end loader the house, uh, somebody could get killed, you know, by these bees. They're not real nasty uh, so far. I've only taken a few stings, but when you go and, uh, and open up their, their hive like that, uh, they're not real happy. So anyway, uh, I'll get these guys home and incorporate them into another hive, and then uh, when it comes time, I'll come back and get inside this uh, what looks like a master bedroom and, uh, and tear that ceiling out and get these bees. Alright guys, peace.